Thank you for staying with us. It's time now to know what's on the front pages of the Nigerian newspapers. And we have in the studio chartered accountant and public affairs analyst, Ulusha Sonokwade, as well as CEO, CKN News, Chris Kende Wandu. Gentlemen, good morning. Thank you for joining us. Thank good you morning. Us. And thank God it's Friday. Thank God it's Friday. <laughs> <laughs> what a day. The weekend is here. <laughs> what a day. Absolutely. All right, let's go to the papers now, and I begin with the national economy. Hope of stable electricity dims over low gas supply. No gas to run 25 <coughs> excuse me, power plants nationwide, Jenkos. Businesses, households resort to generators, solar power sources. All right, move now to the front page of uh, the business. The contentious PIB won't make it to Aserok as planned. You find details of the story on the pages of the business day. To the blueprint now, network coverage to determine e transmission of results. Senators vote along party lines. Reps in Fistikov over clause. Dambata Yakubu appear before House today. So the first newspaper, Kanu Emir to Buhari, make life easier for Nigerians. The crisis worsening security, economic hardship. To the leadership newspaper now, Electoral Act Amendment Bill, towing party line, 52 APC senators uh, vote against electronic transmission. All right, if I find details of the story on the pages of the leadership newspaper to the Daily Times now. Electronic transmission of election results, National Assembly clashes uh, or dashes hopes of Nigerians. Senate rejects proposal, says NCC NAS to determine electronic transmission. Reps disagree as Deputy Speaker rules against proposed amendment. PDP, Governor Tambua, flag uh, or flay APC lawmakers, Senate's decision. To the Daily Trust, the Electoral Act, INEX stripped of so power to transmit results, uh, must get clearance from National Assembly NCC, reps fail to pass bill, exchange blows, action in sort on INEX independence, Jega, uh, CSOs, APC senators in haste to murder democracy, BDP, only INEC has powers to regulate elections, lawyer. To the Nigerian News Direct now, 2021 Electoral Act Amendment Bill, National Assembly in rowdy session, outrage over passage by Senate reps reject Deputy Speaker's ruling against bill, adjourns seating. To the Punch newspaper now, electronic results transmission, Southern Senators turn against governors, National Assembly members clash. Senators say National Assembly NCC to determine when electronic transmission is feasible. A decision of the APC-led Senate shocking and it undermines our electoral process, PDP. All right, to the Nigerian Tribune now. E-transmission of election results, Senate gives NCC National Assembly final say. Uh, reps in stormy session take brief from INEC NCC today. We were against nebulous wardings of Section 52, Subsection 3 of Proposed Act, Senate Spokesman, Division, Beauty of Democracy, Senate President, APC Senators preparing grounds for mass vote rigging, PDP. All right, to the Daily Sun now, Senate whittles down provision on electronic result transmission, approves uh, usage only when NCC certifies adequate to secure coverage, uh, OKs Buhari's fresh $8.3 billion loan. And to the Nation newspaper now, Senate dumps proposal on e-transmission of results, Electoral Act Amendment passed by divided Senate House reconvenes today after rowdy session. And finally, on the front page of the Vanguard newspaper, Electoral Act reps in free for all, anger in Senate over electronic transmission of results, invites INEC chairman NCCDG for clarifications on readiness for electronic transmission of results, whittles down provision on electronic uh, transmission of results, INEC to consider electronic transmission of results if national coverage is adjudged by NCC approved by Na National Assembly says Senate. Gentlemen, let's get your reaction to this. Uh, now, the NCC, as, uh, as it is said, the NCC unapproved by the National Assembly will determine when electronic transmission is feasible. And uh, the immediate past uh, chair of uh, INEC says uh, this is an insult to the independence 
of INEC. I wonder what your reactions are. Let me start with you, CK. Well, uh, first and foremost, um, I don't know why Nigerians are surprised about what is happening. Really? Yes. They shouldn't be. <laughs> they shouldn't be. But they voted this, these people in to, you know, protect their interests. How many of them we have voted in? How many of them in the Senate we have voted? Who voted for them? That's the... I, 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 I'm one of... I might be a pessimist, but I've never had anything positive in my thinking about the current members of the National Assembly. I think the last National Assembly we had was far, far, far ahead of this particular set of um, uh, legislators. I don't know. I don't know where we got them from. But I agreed. You don't you know where we, we got them from. I agreed. You said we put they them. They didn't just appear there. Most of them just appeared there. Sincerely, because if you say you are representing people, mm -hmm. then their interest must be re represented. That is essence of it. That is essence why you were elected. Mm -hmm. So, but when you get there, and it makes me, it makes me, <laughs> I laugh whenever they say, "Oh, our constituency. Which of your constituencies? How many of them have visited the constituency since they were elected?" Mm -hmm. That is the issue. They have, there is a complete disconnect between me. I don't know whether it's just like some, somebody said that we want, immediately get to Asso Rock, the mentality changes. I think when they enter that three arm zone and enter that for, um, National Assembly, something just changes. But they don't know what is happening. Mm -hmm. How can you say you don't hear what people are saying? <laughs> the people you are representing are saying this is the way we should go. You say you are representing. And let us even move further. And the way it is going, I think it is also good. They, I, I expect them to have voted that we should just scrap INEC. That should have been the last leg of that voting. Really? Uh, that, yes, we should vote. Uh, we should scrap INEC and let SEC and National Assembly determine all election in Nigeria because that is what they just that voted for. If you understand, CPN is vexing this is my, my sister is the, our life that is at stake. Mm. I, I suppose verse now. It's not only my life; it's the life of my children and children unborn. Mm. This old man, we, they will face that the next ten years. But they are, leasing, they are voting for laws that will lead generations and generations of Nigerians. These people are now uh, take ivy. You are talking of manual voting in 2021, when we have gone beyond that. You are talking of um, um, passing law for ballot snatches. When you are talking, people are talking, of, let's go electronic. If there is electronic voting and transmission, would there be snatching of ballot boards? They wouldn't. So, so you look at the mentality of the people that are representing us. These are the kind of people that you put in, in the bank to become managing directors of bank. And you tell, take us back to the teller days, where we have to queue, <laughs> at the, we have to queue at the bank to be able to transfer. We, all the issue of um, uh, uh, bank transactions and everything we just You remember those days of uh, that man that carried math to the, to the bank? You remember those days? Just so you remember? Those days. Where, that is where these people are taking us back to. Then you say, we, it's rather unfortunate because since last night, I, I've been laughing at when people are killing themselves. I said it in, few, in some of the, my interaction, even on various uh, TV plans, that I don't expect any good thing to come out of that. Now, let's, take it, uh, let's, let's look at it from this point. At the end of it, do you know that Senate yesterday have gone on break? To yeah, September 24th. Yes. Mm. Are you aware? Yeah. Mm. What, they, what, they, what they are telling you is that they don't care. We've done what we've done, and that is it. Then let's also look at it from... 52 people Senators voted for, mm. 28 voted against, 28 were absent. absent. Mm. If you add that 28 that were absent to 28 that voted, would have given six. You are high, my brother, 56. 56. 56. 56 against 52. 52. Mm. What would have had? Mm. So that goes to show you that these people are so selfish in their, uh, in their, in their understanding of the, what is at stake. And, but it is quite unfortunate. But, Whatever they've done today will come back to haunt them. Mm. Because so. most, yes, by the time election come, because they know what they are doing. Most of them don't, they, they don't seek our vote. Because they know what it takes to transmit electronically. Mm. Nobody can manipulate anything. But if you don't do that, they are used to this one that you have to change figures and the rest of them. They think they'll, they'll be the greatest. But do we you know. actually have the capacity to transmit the results electronically? That is the conversation they are going to have later today. But from what we have seen over time, are we at that point where we'll say, yes, we are able to do this H-free, Shesson? Maybe I'll throw the question back to you, Vero. Do we have the capacity to make calls and receive calls? All over the nation. Absolutely. We are doing that. Mm. Even in the northwest, where Boko Haram is eating ad, people are making phone calls. Mm. Go to Baiduguri. For me, you know, it's well because that's it, also the concern for. It is just beyond making calls. Are two, different, are two different things. 
Falike give them a safe landing. Mm -hmm. And what is a safe landing? They have Where to work in known voice in the wilderness. Well, because other it people... Was. It, was <laughs> it, 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 it was It was. It was. But for me, like CKN said, I'm not disappointed at all. Practically all the people in the house, how many of them can use their phone on their own? About six, seven, eight special advisor holding and responding to their, you know. Is that why they made this decision? You think that is why they made this decision? Part of it is when you are not tech savvy, why would you want to support such things? So many of them travel that they cannot even go out on their own. They must go with three, four essays who we handle and manage their things for them. If you see a tech savvy person, there is no how you are going to support that. We should still continue in this jet age. When in some countries, what they are having currently is to have minister for artificial intelligence, mm -hmm. robotics. Which we they say they said that we are going to be introducing to find you can, you, 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 can, you can now see can, where they are contradicting themselves. Yeah, you can see the contradiction. You can see where, where they are getting the contradiction. You cannot continue like this because you ask yourself the question, are these people well thought of before they come out with their action? But because we all know, I know, if not everybody, okay. know that they are there for their personal interest and not for the interest of the people. Because if you are there for the interest of the people, like uh, your, your last guest said, so many institutions are making use of this electronic voting. And you know the cost saving we are going to have from the business perspective. Look there is no need of you saying that we need to shut down the, the whole system economically for a day or two days. Mm. You stay at the comfort of it. While you are here, even doing this news uh, uh, review, you pick your phone and you cast your vote and that ends it. Everybody go about their normal business. Maybe you give a spin of two, three days. You are going to open the portal and you are going to do that. And areas where there are no... See, for those, those of us indeed, there are some sims that what they do, we, we call them multiple sims. What they do is you have all the networks there and it's just one sim. Mm. You put it in your phone. When you get to a particular location, I use it most of the time when I travel, even within the country. It selects the best network to give you both internet, data coverage, and voice call. Hmm. So it's not a, an issue of you saying it is a, 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 this a service provider I'm using. This one is not a. When you get there, the system automatically pick the stronger you know service provider with network in that coverage area there is nowhere in this part of the country where we don't have strong network to carry out it but it might differ from one service provider to, to the, the other, other. so okay. this is achievable calling on ncc what do you expect ncc to do but because we all know this night assembly are not there to represent us, the masses. Not even the masses. So, we the so Soros this make it, generation. This, make, this decision makes it glaring. The fact remains, we've known the 52 people that are against it. They will come back. They don't have constituency. How many of them go to their houses? So many of them stay in Abuja. Where we have insecurity. How many of them go can boldly ride without security and mingle and miss people and say, I am a senator representing So now that we don't know them, what, what should happen? They, well, they will finish the 2023 and stay there in Abuja. Hmm. Because we are going to monitor them. You can't continue. The generation, so many people are going in this line because the young generation wants to vote. They don't want, the, uh, the apathy is there because you go out and you have some hoodlums who are out there to monitor how you are voting. They, they are paid some individual as they are thumbprinting, be watching. Whosoever vote against us will go and attack it at home. But with their electronic voting, do you need that? I don't need to come out. Transmission now. You know, whether transmission, whether voting, you go ahead and do those things with ease. Very, mm. very, very, with are you, ease. Are you aware that the chairman of the committee mm. That recommended <laughs> voted against when it, when it, when it, it he voted it. against it. He voted against it. Yeah. That goes to show you the mentality of the people we have in the Senate. But but you see, uh, the president of the Senate came out to say, you know, there was a document that leaked prior to yesterday, yes. yeah. Yeah. and he says that those who think that they were going to expunge it from all of it are rabble rousers. I was, uh, and then we mm -hmm. now saw that the original document mm -hmm. said that where possible there mm. will be electronic transmission yes. mm -hmm. and then now it was changed or amended amended rather to say that it is going to be subject to the ncc as approved by the national assembly what is the difference didn't you still make that some the, that is sure, you that know is, some amendment changes and all of that it is the mentality. so how, do, how how then can nigerians build trust 
with these people, with the, the, the government, because that, that is the, a major challenge. The, as that one does not exist. Now, I've told you, there's nothing like trust. trust That's a complete government. disconnect between those representing us and us. Shouldn't we be looking at building trust? We should be building looking at strings. building trust. But let me, oh, let me even take up, let me look at let that's, me, that's what let me, I, yes, I'm actually saying. Yes. Who, let us even take it from where uh, she was saying. She was saying that uh, they will come in 2023. Uh, we, Do we Nigerians really learn? That is it. That is it. The lead, and the leaders and the lead. Who do we blame? Most often than not, they've brought us to a corner that most people have even given. They let have us no look choice. At, most of the time, they don't have just because they know their votes don't count. It's because they know that if they, but, we but, are transmitting this electronically, the, the votes of the people are meant to count. That, that's the mistake <laughs> we've been making. There is a difference between democracy and civilian rule. Okay. You need to know that. Mm. What we have is civilian rule. We don't have democracy. We've not gotten the point where we say, uh, in secondary schools, uh, democracy, the 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 people, 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 the people, 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 you know, those <laughs> secondary schools, which people, which people, that is the problem. Then let also take it further. At the end of it, look at the number of people that um, register to vote in Nigeria hmm. during election days. How yeah, many, how many vote votes? votes? Hmm. You know why? Because they do not believe in the system. That is what we are supposed because to be are working that on. That is because they don't believe in the system. Because they know that their vote will not count. And that is why most of them are taking us for a ride. Because they know you vote, you don't vote, we will get you there. Get the only way we would have checkmated this is part of this process we are going through. Making sure that um, people vote electronically, transition el electronically, where nobody can come up and you know, try to manipulate those figures. Because once he hits that server, you need to go to, um, you need a hacker. Or no you need ad. to go to INEC server to be able to do that. Don't forget mm. the rates at which you are You are also talking, the countries are talking of diaspora voting. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you know that that is not even part of their problem? The issue for them is that, and I was looking at it, this is it's so good that this is happening. You know why? Because in 2015, part of the promises of the APC government was a lot, a, a, a election reforms. Mm. Those were part of the promises of, you remember, I cannot forget and what... And it is said that a majority of them voted against this. Majority of them, practically all of them. Right. That is what I'm saying. Mm. So, it is, now they are eating their words. I can remember vividly what President Yaradua said when he was elected. He said the person that brought me into office was not right, it was not right, and we are going to do something about it. Now, 2015, a, pres a, a presidential candidate, sitting president, lost an election. He did not go to the tribunal. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. What was he doing? He was trying to further the, the, the system so that we can be able to bet. What are we getting now? The same people that said, oh, we are going to reform the election, we are going to do this, are the one that nobody is. Meaning that we have election, we will not call SEC. Maybe they will come from Abuja or wherever they come, to come to my local government in Obo Wimo State to determine whether the network there is good enough. When, when you are communicating to, always and chatting yeah, with your people. Mm. That's what I'm saying. When my mother in the village can always call me and that we transmit and the rest of the and they now need to come to Obo for SEC to determine whether the network in my village is very good for them to transmit. There means something fishy. But let us look. Who can redeem it? The House of Representatives has the opportunity to redeem whatever we have or whatever the problem is or do whatever they also approve with what we saw that happened yesterday but didn't you see the deputy that's what you're saying didn't you see the deputy that's what you're saying maybe that's the answer that the speaker will interview I hope that Femi Bajabi and Mipla will be the one that will preside over because that deputy speaker I don't know what that man does you remember what happened the last time when somebody was talking about diaspora and he was telling them he shut down the who are they who are they who are they that's a problem. That is a serious problem. And if those that we elect cannot be able to represent us, then that is why some people have been saying, collapse this National Assembly into one. Mm. Some countries have done this already. Yes, right? now. Why do we have 360 uh, people in the House of Reps, 109 people in the Senate? We can collapse this into one. And if you know how much we spend, our task, our money, our task, that we spend every day to, to present them. these people. And this is the kind of thing we are coming. It's just so sad. It's so unfortunate. And very, even, very unfortunate. Even but, Vero, look at the area of diaspora. We get their remittances. Yeah. And you know yes. the amount that trickle in from these people. Mm -hmm. But they don't have a stake when it comes to electing our people. You tell them that they don't have control. This same deputy uh, speaker, speaker was the one that countered them. And he's still tolling the line. Uh, well, I don't know the constituency he came from. 
Uh, he, 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 he tells us that when you have the people at the M of Afia, he tells us the caliber of people in the area he has come from. At times, it's not like that. Some of them are so selfish. Let me tell you. You cannot say because my representative is misbehaving. That means that but, everybody but, from my but, um, no, no, some of, Most of them, no. most of them is because of their selfish tendency. So some, the fact remains that these people are very selfish. This is the uh, fact. That is the fact. Well, we must let the whole world know that that is visible. Now, and we now need that to we kick know, them out. I, Nigerians should pick the lessons and not be discouraged. That's what I'm saying. No, we'll, 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 point, keep, we'll keep pushing on. Mm. Like we keep saying, this is a saying that everybody is watching. They, are, they should remember their children are some of our mates and we are going to tell stories. Mm. Years to come, we'll tell them whether the country is good for it or not. We'll make them realize your father was part of the people that supported, you know, that went against e-voting. And we are where we are today. E-transmission, right? E-transmission. We are, they are part of it. If they have done what is expected of them, as at the time they should do, they should remember, their children are born, like CKN is saying, that they are trying to stifle. See, so many countries are making good ways for the children unborn to benefit. They travel that, to these countries. They see the development. But when they travel, yeah, they all travel. they go there to do yeah, is just they, to they go they and travel. buy things with our yeah, money yeah. now. Do they go there to learn anything? Yeah. If they are going out there to learn things to improve on our, on our economy and develop our country, we will not be faced with Chesson, this. What, with what I've seen of this National Assembly, mm. thank God this was not the people we had when we had the third term agenda. I, I know. <laughs> I'm telling you. If this was the current, if this current National Assembly were what we had under Namani, during the Obasan, we wouldn't have been where we are today. No, they would have endorsed that third term without blinking, without looking back. Because what they are doing now is even worse than um, a, a third term. Because the fact is that Nigerians are looking for ways of uh, 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 making sure that the election, election and electionary and the rest of them gets more better, perfect, transparent, and more transparent, 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 transparent and, and everything. Yes. If we get this right, all these litigations that comes with election will not be there. It will be reduced. We don't they, spend as much. Even the day they were talking, themselves won't. Even the day they were even the day they were talking of the law against uh, ballot snatching, I was just laughing. Yeah. Yeah. Didn't I say it? it? <laughs> this check but it now. This, 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 why, why, why will you sit here all day be discussing about ballot, ballot snatching? Ballot when you should just talk about electric why you do that at you know the comfort of your. But do you know my own idea as an economist, as a business person? I want, if this should succeed mm. and we have electronic voting and transmission, there are, nobody needs to keep you in your house to say we, we are observing, we want to vote. So everybody stay indoor. You have to be restricted. You don't need to go to, if, you, if your ward is in uh, K2, you have to go and check in in an hotel so that uh, you, you <laughs> restriction. Those things, you, you go about your normal business, mm -hmm. everybody stay, whether right. in your yes, office, sir. get those things yes, done. Let us, I will let us even start with manual voting, whichever one, but let us transmit electronically. electronically. All right. Let us even start from there. All right. Because mm -hmm. if we are saying that we're going to uh, electronic voting you are causing more problems. <laughs> you are going to cause more problems for this. All right, we we'll leave the conversation and hope that uh, the outcome of today's meeting can remedy whatever it is the we decision. So. We are that very, was we are very hopeful. We are hopeful. We pray so. <laughs> Thank you so much, Chartered Accountant and Public Affairs Analyst Ulisha Songkwadi, as well as CEO CK News Chris Kendi Wandu, gentlemen. Thank the chatter journalist. <laughs> the chatter journalist. Thank you very much for having me. <laughs> All right, we'll take a break. When we return, nice we'll bring you uh, the news updates. Stay with us. Thank you for staying with us. The news update at this time. The Nigerian Senate has approved the conference uh, committee report on the petroleum industry bill retaining 3% operating costs to the host communities. The report was approved after the Senate leader, Senator Abdullahi Yahaya, moved for its consideration. While presenting the report, Senator Abdullahi said the conference committee adopted the version of the upper legislative chamber. However, South South lawmaker Seriaki Dixon had earlier raised the point of order to counter the decision of the committee, but was immediately turned down by the president of the Senate. The Senate and House of Representatives passed different versions of the bill earlier, which led to the setting up of a conference committee. The Nigeria Center for Disease Control has reported 159 new cases of COVID-19, taking the country's total number of confirmed cases to 169,074. 
Lagos recorded the highest number of new cases with 119 new infections, followed by Aquaibom with 19 new cases, while Rivers recorded 11 new cases. So far, 164,652 people have been discharged, while 2,126 people have died from COVID-19 complications. And the Nigeria Center for Disease Control has briefed the National Economic Council that coronavirus positivity rate has gone up in the country, just as three cases of the Delta variant have now been detected. The council received the state performance report on COVID-19 from the Director General of the Nigeria Center for Disease Control, Dr. Chikwe Hekwazu, who noted that the Delta variant is a new variant identified in 103 countries and it is 60% uh, more trans transmissible than the highly infectious Alpha variant pre previously identified. The Director General said despite the low number of cases in the country, the positivity rate has gone up and Lagos State has a larger burden of 70 to 80% cases in the country, having recorded an increase in the number of cases in the last 10 weeks. The National Agency for Food. Mm. All right, the National Agency for Food, Drug Administration and Control has approved the use of Moderna and AstraZeneca vaccine. It has also given a conditional approval for the Sputnik V vaccine. Making the announcement, the Director General of the Agency, Professor Mujisola Adeyeye, says the approval comes after careful assessment of several vaccines by the NAFDAQ Vaccine Committee. Moderna and AstraZeneca that we are proving now, the AstraZeneca we are proving now is from Korea because India has stopped sending anything out because they need it for their people. These two vaccines have received WHO emergency use listing and were given expedited approvals. Sputnik V is yet to receive the emergency use listing approval and therefore we subjected it to full six <coughs> months review by NAVDAQ. The agency was granted access to the dossiers and prior assessment reports of Moderna and AstraZeneca from the WHO website at different times during these past few months. The federal government on, of Nigeria has declared Tuesday and Wednesday next week as public holidays to mark this year's Ida Cabrera celebrations. In a statement released, uh, the Minister of Interior, Ralph Aregba Shola, congratulated all Muslim faithful and Nigerians at home in, and in the diaspora on the occasion. He also enjoined Nigerians to observe all COVID-19 protocols, saying we must all take responsibility for containment of the pandemic during this year's festival. <laughs> 